You are now watching The Lone Blown. Blown! Yo, what's poppin' YouTube? You're back here at The Lone Blown, and you wanna know what? We're going over the big blown today. Whoa! Big of the arms like the blown as I do it on Twitch. Blown! I literally love this card. This card allowed me to top eight in international championships, win a special event, and win a regional championships. Um, I, I've had a lot of success when it comes to this card. I'm arguably the strongest Blacephalon GX player in the game. Um, so I really hope that you enjoy watching this video because it's something that I'm passionate about, something that I'm an expert about, um, and I really, I really think that this card's awesome. Now, what do I think about this deck as a whole? I mean, the deck largely has been unchanged since the rotation. Um, this, it's, it, it's about to rotate out, so I'm giving my deck one last hurrah. Cards that I miss in this deck would be Alolan Muck, um, Marshadow, things that, things that we can't play in this format because they've already rotated. But the way the strategy works is you get a freebie prize card with Burst GX. Amazing. If anything goes wrong, you got Bursting Burn to burn and confuse your opponent. Your big attack is Mind Blown, where you do 50 times the amount of energy you decide to send to the Lost Zone. Fire Energy, that is. Well, how do you get Fire Energy in play? You got B-String to get a bunch of energies in play. You got Welder to attach more energies. You got Naganadel to get your energies back. It's also a single prize card Pokemon. So, what? where does this deck really lose? Well, it, it, it can struggle against some two prize card decks. Um, it usually beats tag team decks, but it normally loses to single prize card decks. So crossing both of my fingers, and I don't want to show you my feet, uh, as I'm crossing my toes too though, uh, we're, we're about to jump into it. Remember to subscribe for more cool content, and let me know what you think about in the comments below. The list is also in the description, so you want to know what? Let's just jump into it, see exactly what we got going on. Okay, we lost the coin flip. That's fine. That's fine. It happens. And we're starting here. Our hand's a little whack. I'm not. I, I'm not. I'm not fronting here. Hand's a little whack, but that's cool. Hopefully, our opponent didn't start with like Tappy Fini. We're not gonna bench the Poi Pool because we want to wait on it. Proper sequencing. There's no point of us playing it down. Our opponent's not gonna do anything. They started with the Dan GX. Let's go. They're wilding on us. Okay, so Ordinary Rod to Adrachi, what are they going to do here? Okay, let's just switch into Adrachi, that seems pretty normal. Perfect, let's see what we can get here. So we got a Naganadel, I'm cool with that, we're just going to pitch one of these away, we're going to grab... Part of me wants to just grab a Naganadel GX. So we could draw three cards. <laughs> it seems so value. You wanna, let's grab one just in case. I, I was thinking about grabbing a Poi Pull. It just doesn't make sense at this point. Let's do this. Let's go Burst GX. Yeet a prize card, because we don't know exactly what our opponent's gonna do. We did not get a Fire Energy. We discarded our, our Marnie. No, 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 no. I don't know what they're going to Fion into. I also have no clue what they're playing here. Normally decks that play Fiona are like kind of metal type. But I could be completely off with that as well. They, they certainly just keep on bringing out the tech Pokemon. Would have been nice if they would have Marnied us. really like a mystery what are we gonna see here yeah so i was right about a metal deck probably gonna grab a zashian zashian yeah that's fine hopefully we just get something that's useful for us viridian forest could be useful for us i just don't know why they'd play it a lot of lists really don't play uh, Ready and Forest if they're playing deck like this. Whirlpool Suction's also fine with me. 
And they're probably just gonna go Intrepid Sword, yeah. Okay, so I mean, we're gonna evolve into this one, has one retreat cost as well. And we're gonna pitch away one of our Naganadels to try and get a better start. Um, at this rate, it's better for me to sacrifice the Blacephalon than anything else. Um, because our hand is uncertain and we need to be able to take care of that Zacian next turn. Burning and confusing our, our opponent's active doesn't really do too much. But it's better than us just losing all of our draw power. Blacephalon GX, um, ever since it lost Marshadow, has largely been inconsistent. So it is something to consider. The alternate Crowsman in their deck is actually kind of crazy. I, I haven't really seen that tech in this deck. It makes me wonder if they're running a Malamar deck, actually. Oh. That's, uh, Ends Resolve's a little uncommon. I, I've heard of some alternate Charisma decks out there. Um, but that's just a really weird, uh, tech. I, I don't know if I've seen a deck like this, to be honest. Are they going to be able to get out of the active spot is the question. I really hope not. If anything, the Ordinary Rod hurts their chances unless they really need the energies late game. And I'm... Maybe they play another Dedene? Oh, an Oracorio GX. Interesting. I I can't say that this is, like, normally a meta deck. I'm, I'm, I'm quite confused. They thin their deck out a little bit. I wouldn't have played Ordinary Rod if I were them, though. Um, it seems like it's a sequencing misplay. Because it added more cards to their deck... Um, when they're trying to grab cards out of it. So, I know for sure that they just have to pass. We have some turns here. They absolutely can't do anything except Intrepid Sword. But we'll take the freebie turn. I don't, I don't think we deserve the freebie turn, but we'll take it. Um, I'm actually going to pitch... I'm going to pitch another Naganadel, unfortunately. I'd like to keep that Blacephalon GX, maybe. And here I'm actually just going to go Fire Energy. There. And I'm going to take one away with Mind Blown. One takes the knockout because they're weak. And they also have 20 damage on it. So I'm not playing the Professor's Research because we have the Beast Ring already. Um, so we could just beast ring onto this and get a knockout on their Zacian. So they'll be at four prize cards, we'll be at two, they might not have a comeback. We should be able to, um, we should be able to clear this game out if we can get one more beast ring. I honestly believe that. They still have their Sky Scorching Light GX. I have to be careful of that. That's 60 to everywhere. Hopefully they don't reset stamp Marnia Snow. I mean, I'm not terribly worried about it. Either way, the fact that we got Professor's Research is a blessing. Another alternate Chrisma. It's a really weird deck. I haven't seen anything quite like this. It, it seems like they might have built it with Deck Creator, or it's their first um, iteration at building a deck. But it just goes to show the strength of individual cards, like Zashin with um, Jirachi can present a lot of issues for us. Maybe there's something I'm missing here, and it's... If, if, I, put, if I miss something, let me know in the comments below. i just never seen a deck like this. Okay, so let's end up the Blacephalon. They're at their four prize card turn. So we can actually use Beast Ring now. Um, I'm going to go ahead and actually go Ultra Conversion since we're going to pitch this anyways. 
Yeah, we're gonna pitch that anyways. That kind of hurt. But let's go Ultra Space. Still have another one. We're just gonna grab um, a Naganadel GX out of our deck. Koi pull Ditto Fire Energy there. And let's just um, rip this hand away. I'm actually, I, I can't get rid of the other Naganadel. That's the biggest issue. Um, and we've lost five. It makes it really tough on how can we deal with this hand next turn. Because we need to get four energies on a Blacephalon in a single turn. So, or four energies in play. I mean, there's, that means we have the Welder on two. I don't necessarily feel comfortable with that either. So we're gonna go with the Dene GX. And we're gonna go mind blown here. We have to just take away three energies. Because two energies would only do 200 damage. So we should be able to like just clear this game out, maybe. Actually, you wanna know what I think I might have misplayed. Because we lost the reason why I didn't want to go for the Dene is because we lost our fourth uh Naganadel. So we don't have boss, we don't have anything. Yeah, I think this game might be over unless our opponent takes a We'll have to see. They need another... They're doing 20... 100... Yeah, they're getting the knockouts. We just have to have an unfortunate kind of mix. I think we're out of we're almost out of energies is the biggest thing that's gonna hurt us we can't get our energy back um because we've lost all of our naganadels i don't know why they attached another energy maybe they're gonna go for a sky scorching lights i really don't know what they're gonna do here The one thing that I'd say about Blacephalon, games aren't ever over because you always have the opportunity to just go like Bursting Burn or... So do keep that in mind. Another Ultra Necrozma. Interesting. So we're just waiting to see which attack our opponent goes for. Maybe they'll try to go for Sky Scorching Light. If they go for Sky Scorching Light, I think we actually will win this game. But there's the Photon Geyser. Let's see what we could do with uh, this Blacephalon here. So go with the Ultra Space. Actually, we have one, two, three. We actually have enough energies in order to make it happen. So let's try to go thin through our deck because nothing else necessarily matters. We're just trying to find energies. We're just going to keep on going through till we find more and more. Um, if we could find an energy before the welder, we could actually win the game. And we did not. So the issue is we could only attach... Ooh, how many welders have we played? That means since we only attached the one there, we did get the other energy. It's just not going to be enough. 
because it's only 150. If we had the Naganadel, out, we could get the knockout, but it's just not possible. So the four cards we have remaining in the deck, um, we just gotta go Bursting Burn. If you're not getting a knockout with Mind Blown, you just gotta chill with it. And it does add damage. If they were to stay burned, then you could be, we'd be able to do it with three energies. Now, hopefully our opponent, um, hopefully our opponent realizes that we can, like, hopefully they don't realize, I should say, because then we could just knock them out with plus off on GX. I don't know entirely what they have in their hands. Maybe they were planning for us to take the knockout, not knowing we had two prize cards. There's a lot of things that could be said in the moment. So there's their energy. Are they going to retreat? Are they going to try to go for um, Sky Scorching Lights? Either one of those means that we win the game next turn. Um, they, I, I believe they don't have a way to power up with Ultra Necrozma. Now, how exactly does Ends Resolve? It has to be a benched Pokemon. So, one, two, three, four, yeah. So they should just be able to retreat their active, knock us out. We lost to the Ultra Necrozma Ends deck, no! <laughs> but that's okay, we had to lose a lot of resources. It totally happens. Rip us. So you saw the games, I mean, rip, rip our Naganadels, rip our Naganadels. It would have been nice to be able to use Charging Up or play a supporter during our first couple turns. Um, overall, this is where the list is at, though. Um, Bucephalon's kind of fallen off um, from the top of the tier list um, since it came second at Worlds from the rotation all the way to where it's like a tier two, tier two and a half deck. Um, I mean, it's getting rotated out in a week, so rip our Bucephalon GX Overlord. Um, I just want to give it one last hurrah. Unfortunately, we're losing to the meme Ultra Necrozma decks. Or maybe it's a real Ultra Necrozma deck. Like I said, let me know in the comments below. Um, that being said, I hope you enjoyed watching this video. It It's tough to see one of my Pokemon that's brought me to the player who I am today um, fall so far deep. But we got to we gotta showcase it. We've got to show some love. And uh, stay tuned for more videos. I mean, it's, 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 uh, it's going to be Darkness Ablaze going forward. So it can only go up from here, right? Alright, thanks so much for watching so far, and have yourself a great one. Peace out. Really hope that you enjoyed watching that video. I totally enjoyed making it. If you enjoyed it, be sure to like the video, share the video with everyone that you know, and subscribe to the channel as well. Totally appreciate all the support. we got a lot of cool things happening on the channel, so stay tuned for more. Be sure to check out the social links in the description. Thanks, and have yourself a great one.